Hi guys, I'm going to be playing with blue book, glue, blue books, glue books. Well, I'm going to make a glue book actually. Uh, Cause so far I have this one, which is my ABCs, um, which you know I started a little while back, and then I started this one without you. But this is just a travel notebook. I took out about five of the inside pages so it wouldn't be too wide, and um, you know just kind of. It'll be pretty random, but it's limited in size. You can see I've already started, figure, you know, planning some pages in there too. And then I wanted another one, so I found this. I had this book in my stash, which I think is just a really fun book. The Chur the Churk and Deuce. <laughs> so I might use a couple of pages from the book itself. But the cover, you know, it just amuses me. And then I grabbed a bunch of pages to use in it. Just a bunch of random pages. So, let's start with the cover. Because I went down the rabbit hole last night. You know, somebody was like, oh, somebody... Uh, who was it? Was it... Oh, I can't remember who mentioned it now. But anyway, somebody had mentioned a color series somebody did. And then I was looking for to see if I could find that. It might have been the Rusty Peacock. Um, well, the, but I could only find where she was selling them. Couldn't find where she, um, you know, maybe did them online or something. So, so they might have been thinking about somebody else. I'm not sure. This one is tied different than most journals that I've seen. But that's all right. All right. So it looks like there's this one. This is attached to this page here. So I just want to take that out. You know what I haven't been able to find? My Tim Holtz ruler. What happened to it? <laughs> it has just disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. It's all right. I can get here. And I want to make a wider... Uh, I'm going to expand the... What is the word I want? The spine. I'm expanding the spine. That's, I could have just done that. That's just as easy. I don't think I have... Well, these are sort of heavy... No, these are heavy-duty scissors, I guess. I don't cut well with them, though. That, or I could use my cutter. But I'm cutting the front and the back off from each other. Is essentially what I'm doing here. And then we'll make a spine. Welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Miss... With mixed media and I'm Darcy and if you're new to my channel I like to play with mixed media um, whether it's you know paint inks um, just all kinds of stuff but I also like to do glue books I have a wide range of interests it's whatever I'm focusing on at the moment whatever it is that I'm enjoying is usually what you get to see on my channel and I do also make journals and I try to incorporate, you know, the mixed media things that I make into journals. And you might see a couple pages when I put them in the book. We'll see. Um, I was, anyway, I was hoping to get that a little bit cleaner. Maybe if I use scissors, I'm better with. So I'm just trying to cut off the bits here. And... And then I'll figure out my spine. Oh, I probably want to use some fabric on the... That's what Gail... Oh, that was one of the rabbit holes I went down, is, is uh, Gail's channel. Gail Gustinelli, when she was making the glue books that she was making. So, I need to figure out how wide of a... She was doing three signatures with 15 pages each, so she did a three-inch spine. I do not care for three-inch spines. <laughs> They're just a little wide for my liking. So I think I'll do like a two and a half inch spine and then maybe do like 10 pages. And of course I couldn't find my cardboard so I'm just going to grab one off the back of... This is a very thick one too. Alright, got my cutting mat here so that's good. Do I have a straight ruler? No, I don't have a straight ruler. That has disappeared. <laughs> oh my goodness, hold on. 
I haven't been able to find it for like three days. But it's clear, so I just figured that was the reason. Could not find my ruler, so instead of using this, although I did use that to cut off it off the book, um, I just gonna use my row, row, rotator, ro the thing. <laughs> and rotary, that's the word. And then I'm gonna measure these just like Gail did. Real fancy measuring. Um, it would help. I do have a pencil. Yay! Uh, just kind of line them up and then draw a pencil line here. If I could see it, it'd be better. And then just line that up. There's stuff up there in my way. Of course there is. Would I be me if there wasn't stuff on my desk that didn't necessarily need to be there? You just kind of have to go over it several times with the rotary cutter. But you can do it eventually. I mean, I have other covers I could have used. Um, because, yeah, I've got a box of covers. <laughs> but, I mean, what what what's more fun than a uh, turducken goose? Now, I'm going to put these, I'm going to line them up on a line down here. Line it there, line it there. And then give myself just a little tiny space in between. And Gail just went and did fabric, but I think I'm going to tape it first. I said I might want to put my fabric on last so it covers the, um, whatchamacallit. Signature, those strings. So I was going to grab my book tape. Do you think I know it's not in here where it would make sense for it to be? Or even just packing tape. Some kind of tape. Um, would have been good to think about this ahead of time. But no. <laughs> it's not how I roll. Oh my goodness, where is it? It's right here. Okay, Didn't get put away where it's supposed to be. So. I'm just going to start with that just so I don't have to worry about I mean fabric is enough you don't have to also add the tape that is too far that's too far oh, nice nice job Darcy nice job all right let's line that up line this up again straight there and just we only need a little like like a sixteenth or an eighth or something, not not as much space as I had. Oh, and guess what? Now it's okay. That's okay. Alright, so now I just need to do this side. So line it up. Line it up again. Does not look lined up. I'm wondering something's crooked. Something crooked this way comes. But I'm not sure what's crooked. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I think part of it is it's just so janky right there. Don't you love that sound? All right. Now that's on there. I can go look for my fabric and then glue that on real quick. You don't have to do the tape part. You can just go straight to the fabric. I don't know why I did the tape first, but I did. So it's going to be quite a wide... Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. But I don't know how to... Anyway, it folds like it's supposed to, I think. I hope. Anyway, let me go get some fabric. If you're new here... Then you don't know that sometimes I can be extra. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so since he's like a turk induced, I figured my spine has to be turk induced. I, I wanted to uh, kind of put something together that isn't what you would normally find. So... And then I was hoping to get, I think that's the closest I could find to that green. That's off. and Or that blue I could use. But 
I think I want to bring the green into here because of course could I find fabric that color no of course not I think this is a piece from uh, probably Rachel possibly I don't know we'll see if that gets used or not I uh, got a pocket for the inside the inside will be easy the inside is just gonna be this piece of fabric on the inside the outside it's gonna be this piece of denim which was like the perfect height and then I've got this piece of Tim Holtz which has that kind of orangey red color in it although I might also bring in a little bit of red that's a piece of fabric that is probably was from my quilt when I was young so let's see I want at least a whole oh that did not rip straight even a little bit I mean that's all right it doesn't that was I think it might have been cut on a bot on an angle and of course my fabric scissors are Mm, they might be in that drawer down there actually well we'll just put it in a way that it won't be obvious that we cut it so weird my peeking shears would be good I think I want to come off the side just a little bit with that and then this well let's hope that this one does rip more straight good yay and then this is paper but it was sort of yellow like him and I thought I mean it doesn't have to show on the front even but I thought I'd bring in a little yellow not sure about this red but that's okay I also have this can be the yellow or I could still keep the paper it's a um, handmade paper that was dyed so it's a little bit heavier and can probably handle the uh, the sewing that will happen uh, let's see I had I've got some buttons I don't know what I'll actually end up doing not sure how I feel about that blue with the other blues but we got a larger print and a medium print and so I want small, I had polka dots, what happened to my, oh, they're right here, though. Just need a little piece, though. And I think this blue is sort of kind of in between that and that, which is all right. It's all right. Uneven. Let's see, we could put this on its side. I want to make sure some of the denim shows too. I mean, it's there for strength, but also because we like it. Do a little piece of that up there, just poking out a little bit maybe. And down here. Yeah, that part. A little gauze? Sure, why not? Because I'm weird like that. If this was a different color, then I might totally... I'm not sure how I feel about the gray, so we'll wait on that. might do a little gauze, though. Just for a little messiness. Because we can. We can do whatever we want. All right, so that will be my churduckin um, cover, and maybe a little piece of this coffee dyed lace that I bought from Kim Images by Kim, which I like. Don't like that though. But that's all right because we have. Where is it? There it is. A pop of red to stick in there. This idea I learned from Michelle at uh, Padded Hearts. She uses pieces of zipper on her Padded Hearts and I was just like, that's fun. 
this one's kind of a red it it's perfect i wouldn't use it with anything else i don't know what else i would possibly use this for other than on this page and yes i did totally just cut that so put a little piece here actually should we put it with the yellow we just have the zipper poking out a little bit more than that but you know things are fiddly at this point and then down here but I gotta make sure it's not on the bend because that will make things a little bit there we go because then we have one two three of that pop of orangey red all right I'm gonna glue this down and then I'm gonna sew it and then I'll be back Okay, so I did some stuff without you. Sorry about that, but I had two hour live stream and this got done before probably the first hour was done. So uh, this is the spine and I think I'm actually gonna put it that side up so that, so that this shows on the cover, but I'm not totally sure yet. So originally I was gonna do it that way. So. Oh, but the tickets, the numbers are upside right this way, so I actually probably will do it that way. Anyway, so this is still not covered because I'll cover that after I put the spine in, so it's a little bit hidden. I did go ahead and put the fabric in on the inside. Just use Fabri-Tac, glued that down, and I use this so that, you know, smooth it all out. And now it's got little bits of... Uh, this is just a batik fabric that I got from my gram when she... Uh, I uh, got rid of some things and then I need to figure out where I want to put the pocket. Oh, the pocket might be too wide. Actually, I was going to use the pocket, but it might be. I didn't want to cover up all these, but I think the pocket is actually too big to use. I was going to use it. Um, it's not the end of the world if it stuck out like that. I didn't really want to cover the fox, but... The fox is on one of the pages, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would just be nice to have a place to put stuff, that's all. And I could even glue it like this, which would give me a top pocket and a side pocket. So I'm still thinking about that. We'll see if that works or not. Um, or maybe I could find smaller pockets somewhere. I don't know. I Mostly men and me. I don't have little kids anymore, so small pockets are a little bit harder to find. Um, I'm not sure if you could tell the difference. This one I've bone folded and this one I haven't. So I've just been going. I already picked my pages. They're mostly cut down. And then um, the last thing I do is I go through and I use the, I could have used the bone folder as I was folding them, but I didn't. So I'm doing that now. I mean, the pages from the book, I don't really have to because they're already pretty flat. But the other ones, I want to get them as flat as possible. And then I have a little bit sticking out because, you know, the inside pages get pushed out. So I'm going to do one more trim. I've already done it on the other two. I'm going to do it on this one. And then I'll be ready to make my, I'm going to probably make a template. Because I do the folding, like uh, I think Amy Crafty Cat does the folding too. And then some of these pages you can see I've um, put together with some washi tape because they were glued in and so they just tear out one page at a time so um so i just combine you know put a bird with a flower because why not and then each signature has kind of a card stock thicker outside and then a card in the middle which will help strengthen where the um the spine the the, the, the string all right this didn't go in right <laughs> Don't measure on that. That would be bad. All right. So I'm just, you know, kind of bouncing them down, getting them far in as I can there. Actually, this one I don't have to cut. The other ones were a little on the long side. They went beyond this paper. So I just kind of put them in my rot rotary cutter and just um, trimmed them down. But this one doesn't seem to have that problem, so I don't even have to do that with this one. But that's what I would have done if it had been. All right, which one? All right, so there's the title. So that one's going to go first. This one's going to go in the middle. 
and they are 13 pages each because I'm doing a like when Gail would do it she would do a three inch spine and do 15 pages and then you want to make sure you have lots of room they still stick out a little bit but when it's like this it should be all right which is weird because I'm going by the pages that were in the book you know what? I think I want to trim them down just the tiniest bit. Oh my goodness, how annoying is that? <laughs> but now you can see how I do it. I just want... Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out the card from the middle because that kind of bulks it up. Alright. And then hopefully everything is lined up really well. And I just... Um, this line here is where it cuts. So I'm going to line them up with the other side of that um, strip. All right, and then I just, because it's a rotary cutter, I can keep sliding it. I just turned the camera back on. I can keep sliding it until I get all the bits off. That's what's another reason that I like a rotary. Yeah, probably had some questions. So I had to turn off the camera for a minute and then just kept working. So, started with the first one. Let me remember to put these cards back in. Um, I, this card's fun. Peanut butter and jelly. Because uh, one of the ideas uh, that I got from, I think, I, Hannah, was winning combinations. And I'm like, well, peanut butter and jelly. There you go. Where's the other? Here it is. And this is another card that I got from my aunt. So, I'm not sure who Judy and George... Oh, I know who Judy and George are. <laughs> I used to like being seeing her at school and knowing that there was somebody in the school that I knew and that I was related to. <laughs> Just like my um, Graham's cousin or something like that. And then this one was from uh, the lovely Robin. So I figured that'd be cute in there. And it looks really cute with this paper too. So there's some scrapbook paper with pockets so that I can add big journal cards if I want to that are um, collaged. And then if there's anything that I don't like, I don't have to collage on this page if I don't want to, but I definitely would collage on that side. So, and maybe I wouldn't, this is kind of like a collage already. So, you know, might just keep that in there just to be pretty. But the rest of it, um, probably should glue that down. I can cover up or even use as like a prompt, like chrysanthemum. I could cover this page with chrysanthemums and like leave the um I could leave the words and do chrysanthemums all around the edge maybe if I could find chrysanthemums could say that a few more times all right so I'm gonna grab a piece of cardstock or paper actually I don't need it to be cardstock it can just be paper let me get rid of some of these maybe not the flowers get rid of some of these bits and then I, I want to save some of the fabric that I used on the cover too for tabs but I won't put the tabs on till after I've made a pick like done the glue parts basically because otherwise I have to like glue around it all right what did I say a piece of paper because I'm so with it all right I only need it to be two, about two and a half inches. And I don't two and a half. Uh, I'm so used to having a straight ruler that now that I can't find it, I'm just, I gotta find my Tim Holtz ruler. Two and a half. And probably by eight is my guess. Where'd my pencil go? I had a pencil yesterday. There it is. Oop, there it is. So right about there. Give or take. There we go. Alright. Thank you, mailman. Person. And then, because I have three signatures, I'm going to fold it in half. This is why paper is a little bit easier. And then I'm going to fold, so there's that line there, which you can sort of see. Oh, actually, the best way for me to make that line visible for you guys is just to do this. 
probably. Also, it helps me a little bit. Because then I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in and I'm going to leave like a, just a tiny little. Um, I'm going to. Is that about an eighth or a sixteenth or something? Just because. If I do it exactly in thirds, it might get a little bulky in the middle. So, did I not fold it straight the first time? I don't know. I mean, it seems like it's straight, but it's, uh, doesn't that look like Wicked Crooked? Wicked. All right. Give myself a little bit of... What the heck? That's not right. That should not happen. Let's see. I can't even tell. That's like an inch and a half almost. Okay, it's definitely not straight. All right. Follow the middle line. Because apparently, whatever I was following was not straight. But this is just how I do it. You do it. Some people measure. I'm, I'm not big on measuring. do this so I can see the line and know which one is the line because now I've got a couple different lines going on there and I'll fold the middle again so I can get the line on this side just a little bit easier than all right and then I would fold this up about an inch or so it doesn't have to be exact a little over an inch actually Fold this in half. This is actually how I usually do it. Now that I think about it, I fold it in half first. And that way, when I fold this up, they'll be the same on both sides. So I'm just doing it a little bit over an inch. So doing a three-hole pamphlet um, stitch is what I'm doing. So now here and here. And here, and here, and here, and here, and here, here. That's where my, that's where my pokes will go. Okay, so I need that. Uh, let's see. Oh, the string doesn't really matter as far as, but I want something strong. So I'm, I'm are you okay, Joe? I want something strong, so I'm going to use one of my waxed, one of these. I'll just use the brown. All right, and then we're going to do two and a half. One, two, and a half-ish. Sometimes I just do three. And I'm going to do it so that the strings end up on the outside, which is a little backwards. Two. That way I don't have to tie them in the middle of the, and they'll get covered by the spine. One, two, three. Okay. Set that up there. And I wonder where I put... Hmm. Somewhere I have the... There used to... Oh, there are some in here. Mostly this is... Oh, I guess I do have bigger ones in there. Okay. Two, three, four. I'm just going to put one in at a time. Where's my needle? I have a few different needles because they're nice and thick. Um, this one has a sharp point though, so I try not to use that one because I'm more likely to split the thread. This one's too wide, and that one is also sharp. Um, they're about the same. That one has a bigger eye. All right. I am going to use the sharp one just because I am. But i got to be careful not to the thread so here I can go ahead and grab a book to put under this okay so I'm just gonna oh I should also write top at the top so that I'm using it even though I did it the way I did it it still could end up um, being just a little bit off on one side than the other. So now I just put in my holes. Right where the fold intersect. Did the circles to help, but 
they're not perfect. But nothing in junk journaling is perfect or, you know, any kind of journals you make are going to... Anything you make by hand is never going to be perfectly perfect. Let's see, did I get through to the other side on the model? Whoops. I need a... There we go. I'm going to make my holes just a little bit bigger. I'm trying to go straight through the holes so that I don't get a crooked entry or whatever entry point and I had just enough of this fabric to come over the top because the other the other uh, the other spot this piece is not going to cover the top so that worked out perfectly so that we're not seeing cardboard at the top all right so we have our things now we need to do this. I'm only going to do one of these on camera. Some people start at the back one because they say it's easier, but I'm not quite sure what the point is because you could start with the front one and just have it be, just put it upside down and have the same. So yeah, I'm not quite, but it does help to put these together because things move. Uh, let's see. So now I'll just fold this in half at the top, the top, the top goes here and center it and then when I center it you know up and down on the page I'm going to mark the top and the bottom so that when I center it on the other pages it's centered the same Does that makes sense all right let's just go ahead and mark it with a pencil for now okay yeah. Usually I keep it folded while I do my holes because you have a better chance of staying on the spine that way. So that one's off a little bit. That's annoying. But not the end of the world. Now, I said I was going to go backwards. So instead of starting in the middle, I'm starting on the outside. So, I'm going to come in from the, from the um, middle one, make sure I leave some string loose, and then come in through the middle here. And then go out. through that top one if I can there we go and then back in through this one so I'm gonna pull this up and so that I can hopefully not split the string did we go in? No, we didn't go in the right way. Of course we didn't. So far we haven't split the string though either, so that's good. There we go. Coming back through the middle. Uh-oh, did we split the string? You know how you can tell if you split the str string? If it doesn't move, then you know you split the string. That one moves. There it goes. It's moving. Good. All right, and then back through the bottom doesn't matter if you start at the if you you know start in the middle and then whether you start at the top or the bottom doesn't matter I can't see my hole so when you can't see your hole you just poke your pokey tool back through there ah this is why we're only doing one this is a pain and hopefully really all right I'm gonna come through here all right, find my hole again, because for some reason, even though I glued that all the way down, that fabric, it still is pulling up some. Okay, now, don't need to keep that in there. I, at this point, take these off so I don't get a false sense of how tight my string is. But you don't have to, because other people have fine success without that. Okay, and then... 
this is going to go under this string. We're going to take our needle off, make sure it's tight, nice and snug, and then tie it. I think some people do it a certain way. I can never remember. So what, I went over, under, and then under, over? I don't know. I just tie it three times just to make sure. And then I'll do the other two, and I'll be back. Oh, also, you can I'll probably take this and smush that down so that it's not bulking out too much. All right, good. So far, so good. I need to get that sticker off. I'm going to use my heat gun when I take that sticker off, I believe. I'll be back. Okay, got all my signatures in. Um, okay. <laughs> my thing is hanging down here, and I was worried that it was in camera the whole time, but I don't think it was. So I have a lot of different, since you guys didn't see me put the pages together, I thought I'd just go through the pages real quick. And if there's anything that I don't want to cover, like what if I wanted to keep these birds, I could just glue pictures around the birds if I wanted to. I, that's a, There's a word for that, I forget what it is. Um, if Hannah watches, she can say, because I think that's where I heard the word. And then the other side is just <clears throat> a little bit more. And it's nice that, you know, there's something in the background, even if it's like just this, so that I'm not just gluing on plain white pages. So I'm excited to use this book. And this is just a little gel plate on the front of that that I had used that I'm actually from one of my sessions this week. It's one of my favorite ones to use in an art book. Um, is this a alphabet book with this rat. It's just, it's nice thick paper for one. And he's just fun. So I've got some children's book pages and whatnot, and some nature book and crossword puzzle. That's the only page I had left because I cut up all the other ones to use as background. Oh, and this one I accidentally cut off the part that was um, the inside, and so then I just glued the pages back on to that. I mean, I could have just used washi tape, but. I didn't. And in a couple places you've seen I used washi tape to connect pages. And I actually don't have any folds in, fold ins, but I do have pockets so that if I have wanna kind of put some stuff in here to you you know that I know I want to use in this book, I can do that. These were pages somebody sent me in Happy Mail. It was a swap. Happy Mail swap type thing. And then the peanut butter and jelly. Thank you, Honey Barb, for sending me that. So yeah, just lots of fun pages that I get to cover up. So I'll cover up as much as I want. I mean, what if I wanted to keep some of that? I could, I totally could. And I could even use like some of the pictures like this quilt, that could be a purple layout, you know, and it could keep some of that showing. So, all right, so now, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm gonna open that in the middle so I can go ahead and glue this down and I think I've decided to do it this way and grab my Fabri-Tac which uh, actually it opened this way and it was coming out slow yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and well, it still wants to come out slow <laughs> oh that's probably way more than I need you don't need that much glue that much glue probably <laughs> I was hoping to spread it really well. I'm going to be going at least as far as that fabric goes. And then any other bits I can glue on. Come on, spread. Spread for me. Now when Gail Augustinelli did her glue books, she just kind of went around so that I think she wasn't hitting where the... Uh, and come down just a tiny bit because it doesn't, oh, hold on, all right, all right, and let's get that down before the glue dries, I need to refill that, I have bigger bottles that I refill the smaller bottle with, 
and then I'm, I need to let it dry before I go pulling anything up off of there. Uh -huh. Okay, come on. I'm sad to cover up the hem, but I've got pages from the book in there too, so. And we know that's a C, so it's not that big a deal. Could have made this a little bit more narrow or could have put it towards the back more. But honestly, I was, oh, I thought I was lining it up with the fabric on the front. I went a little over farther than I had planned. Not the end of the world. It'll still, but I wanted this to be able to be on the front too. So that's going to dry before I can fold it. So that is where we are with that. Oh, and I think I am, oh, let's turn that over. <laughs> turn that on its side at least. I think that I am going to go ahead and do this here. And I'm going to do it as a top pocket. So this little bit might, well, I'll glue it down. but So I'm going to go down this way. Nice thick glob of glue across the bottom. Nice thick glob of glue because I want it to stick there good. And then I'm going to go straight up. Oh, I'm going to attempt to go straight up. My glob wants to... So come down the side here and also follow the pocket here just to make sure it stays down good. Okay. And go, there we go, line it up on that side there hopefully. Oh, I don't want the fox to show because it looks, then it will look a little more, I'd rather the words show than his paw. But I didn't mind if the grass and a little bit of that showed. Alright, so that'll be a top pocket and also a side pocket. Okay, don't want to fold it yet. Because this was originally planned for the back, I didn't realize how jaggedy it was. So I'm just kind of trimming that off so that it's at least straight-ish. And then if it's fraying in a couple of spots, which is fine that I don't mind so much because now I kind of want it to fray once I was afraid I was cut apart okay uh, it's a little hard to do with short scissors when you're trying to well fortunately that wasn't glued down all the way so there we go and then did you get a pretty close look said so did the up and down stitching it's not straight that's okay and then I've got stitching going this way and then I glued these on with um, Fabri-Tac that one if it comes off I'll move it over but it's also sewn down in a couple places so even if it comes off it's not gonna come off so that's what it looks like on the back and there's that part I, I like that I use the cheesecloth is a little bit of a little bit of crazy kind of like his feathers you know so yeah I'm excited I now want to start gluing in it. So that'll be the, another video. Have a